welcome to the little shot. I'm very excited to run through a top tip to encourage you for specific moments to stop being so personal. Lately, there is a wonderful tendency to increase the use of personal language in business. This is such an exciting topic for me and we even have modules at Voice Science on rapport building, soft skills, using emotion to engage and help people listen. I've spoken a bit about the use of personal language as an investment in the rapport building bank. But when should you cut the purse strings? Is there a time when personal language is damaging or even dangerous to your business and professional life? Yes, of course there is. When I was a kid, I knew a family that was really into juicing. They all turned orange. See, they didn't realise that buying 10 kilos of carrots per week and drinking them all could actually poison them, which is precisely what happened. Someone pulled the father aside and said, Dude, your kids are turning orange. Is everything okay? A trip to the doctor and their normal colour eventually returned. But this is a perfect case of everything in moderation. The same can be said for your communication. To communicate effectively, you need to balance all the powerful tips and tricks and the key point is, don't overdo any of them. So yes, there will be many times where you should definitely cut back on the use of personal language. Let's look at the use of something concrete and specific. We'll take the words we and our. We and our are personal pronouns. Basically, they're ways of referring to people collectively and in so doing, including yourself. Now, a lot of companies use these terms to try and get everyone on board. The terms also seem to come out to play when the company culture needs a bit of improvement. These statements definitely have a time and place, but research suggests that you should definitely delete them in important documents like codes of conduct, ethics training, and communication around fixed deliverables that must absolutely happen. This we language will work against any concrete procedure or process. In a study by Kuchaki, Gino, and Feldman, it was found that the overuse of personal language in corporations made employees perceived increased leniency by their companies, which resulted in higher levels of misbehaviour, misconduct, and even dishonesty. So let's look into some actionables. Number one, for concrete deliverables. Keep it serious and formal if you want it to happen. Rather than saying, we need to work towards completion by the close of business today. Say instead, this task needs to be completed by close of business today. Two, do you work in small business? I mean, are you a micro business owner where there's only one of you? Never use we in your communications if there is only one of you. Be proud of who you are all businesses start small, and it's plain phony and dishonest to pretend you're bigger than you really are. Your customers will smell a rat pretty quickly that there is only you, so keep your communication clean and ethical and do the right thing. You can always find ways to present your business that communicates the advantage of being small, personable and tailored. Number three, don't feel bad for using formal, non-personal language, especially when the stakes are high in your company or workplace procedures. For the key things that must happen, you have to keep it clean cut and remove all the warm fuzzies. This is also a really effective way to sound more assertive. Number four, balance is key. Good communicators have a mix of personal and formal communication. They use both with ease and comfort and match the right tone to the perfect moment. Try to balance your desired outcomes with the matching communication style to get you there. If you always use a personal tone, you may not be taken seriously enough. And if you also always go for an impersonal tone, you will definitely struggle to build rapport and relationships that matter. Which makes you follow the rules better at work. Warm language with lots of feelings or clear and concrete instructions. Comment below and let's talk about this. Remember, 
Your voice and message matter immensely. So go get them and have a great day. Ciao. Enchanté. Thank you.